Previously, on Resident Evil 2. Jesus, I, I, ugh. I'm so mad about that whole cord situation. See, I thought you were investing in uh, Leon's future. Instead, you were making Claire's life easier and Leon's life harder. Mm, that, mm, that makes me so mad. I'd forgotten all about that. That the cord breaks. It was just a temporary fix. Right, right. That was that was the visual signifier to what I need to do. Was it uh I didn't actually look, but I I don't think it's that all that hard. It's like you move a bunch of stuff to the right. Boom. Easy. Oh god. Leon moved things slightly to the right. Unlock the gates. Goddamn bishop plugs. I should go upstairs. Even though I don't have the cog, I should reconnaissance it. Maybe there's like a small key or something up here. <laughs> My memory is kind of remembering something alarming. Huh. I hope I don't have to deal with what I'm remembering, because this could be a real problem. Mary, what are you remembering? Oh, we're about to find out. Nope, okay. <laughs> Woo! I have a, a very distinct memory of Mr. X appearing here and making life just very rotten. I honestly don't remember where the name Mr. X came from. Are we ready for the great unknown? No, I'm not saving. I like riding on the wild side. Fuck, fuck, fuck. On the wild side, on the wild side. Don't like it, don't like it. Whew, the wild side. I love it. Now the, the environment's different from before. You got the broken glass, you've got the windy sound effects, and it's still like, what could happen? Anything could drop through there. Graphics. Cool. That in hand. It's onward to the safe. And with the safe... Well... Maybe we'll be safe. Way to find out. Ah, it's shit. And right now we're looking for the safe that's down in this office area. I don't recall anything frightening popping up in our path, and we have illum Ill illuminated? eliminated a number of the zombies? God damn it. Okay. I thought we took care of zombie business. No, there are more zombies. More zombies have appeared. Okay. Well. Okay. Numeral two, two, three, six. Shotgun ammo. Okay, I thought thought maybe it would be like the C4 detonator, but no. I'll, I guess I'll take shotgun ammo. No, I will take shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo's all fuck. I was gonna say always good, but I'm not. Jeez, more zombies. Why? I don't look at. I hope we don't have to deal with too much. Items down here? You know what? I think we do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and beat the rush. 
and stash some items. Alright, we're approaching the target zone. I've got a couple of free spaces, and thankfully, the lighter is just a part of Leon at this point. May as well be growing out of his arm. The man is such a smoker. He's not. He's... Something later in his uh, narrative, he becomes like a drinker, or a bit of a drunk, which is so not Leon. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand Resident Evil 6's direction. They're like, we need him to be an alcoholic because we've been reading too much Stephen King. Fuck! Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I thought he was going to jump through when I took the King, the Rook plug. Shit. Way to subvert my expectations. You goddamn frightening geniuses. I hate you! I love you! Why do you do this to me? Uh, oh, that's right. The club. Okay. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. I smell... Uh, breakfast. And it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. God, I'm hungry now. I want that. I don't know who's cooking it, but I want it. Okay, I think I remember where I need to be. Um, the diamond key unlocks the uh, evidence storage room, which is down this whole hallway system. So I was right to, to kill all the zombies and more or less leave this one over here just in case. But now nah, I should have killed it. Which I believe gets me the C4, and then it's a straight shot to the, uh, the detonator. If I'm not mistaken, I don't honestly need to kill you, but... I don't do anything half-assed. I do everything half-assed. Yay! Use and lose. Oh, there's a shit ton of zombies in there. No? No, there's not. All right. Hmm. Expectations subverted once again. Okay, all a bunch of broken locks. Uh, I wouldn't mind a smoky film. Okay. I need a small key, so... Oh, more shotgun shells. Okay. The small key is going to get me access to uh, an upstairs desk. Um, and I need that desk to be unlocked. When I get it, you'll see why. Oh. Hey, boys. Were you throwing me a surprise uh, arrival party? Y'all pretty sweet, but, um, I got this well in hand. I don't need any birthday hugs. Definitely no birthday spankings. Oh, hey. What are you doing in Marvin's office? I assume that's Marvin's office. It could also not be Marvin's office, but, you know. You're not Marvin. Get out of here. Hey, is that... That is a tiny key. Fuck. It's a precinct key. I've never been so disappointed at progress in my life. Oh, oh, oh. I see it. I see it. I see it. Memo to Leon. I'll, I will re read this one. Congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. And we are just decimating them. All right, we need room. Okay, we're gonna unlock 
this and we're not gonna go through it and just just because uh, once again my need for narrative structure to be relayed to the character in question I, I gotta I gotta develop the film he needs to know the truth <laughs> Yay, it's a zombie. Aren't you glad I did that? <laughs> Ray, now, now Leon knows. Leon knows everything about that zombie. We're back. And baby, we deserve it. Oh yeah. You take the handgun parts, you know it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use what's in the gun because the handgun parts come with bullets now it doesn't add those bullets to your stockpile but it does refill your gun upon using the the parts so we're gonna use the parts as kind of a refill for 18 shots or 10 or whatever honestly and then and then my friends will be golden because the the upgraded handgun is just a monster it is the definitive zombie slaying weapon um, at any range the shotgun one shots them in the head if they're up close and it can one shot them in the torso but not always the the improved handgun is just it still takes as many shots but it delivers those shots so fast. And it has knockback. So, just like that, with one upgrade, we're leagues better than Claire's, any of Claire's guns, honestly. Um, with small exception to maybe the grenade launcher, because the grenade launcher can just like, it can one-shot a crowd. It doesn't often, but it can. We picked up the Heart Precinct key, uh, which has one use and it's con. Great. And then this place is going to be filled with zombies. You dingus. You double dingus. Get shat on. Leon is shatting on you right now. Okay, where am I bullet-wise? Eight. I have eight bullets left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, yeah, okay, one bullet. Okay. And if I don't do this right, it will screw up my layout. Okay, good. Uh, if I do it the other way around, the gun merges into the, the, the parts, and it just screws up my organization. Do you see that? It might even improve the damage on the pistol. I don't know, it's, this thing's a motherfucking beast now. Oh my god. Just like that, Leon has equipped a great time. This is why I always played Leon A, is because I I love Leon's equipment. His kit is just mwah, top shelf. Oh, okay. Zombies. I thought he had to deal with liquors for some reason. You can still like single tap zombies. If you don't want to spend like three bullets. It's not like one pull of the trigger equals three bullets. But you can. Can you see what I mean? Leon is surrounded and he is just decimating these, these zombies. Hey, buddy. Even surprise zombie in the camera just doesn't have a chance. 
Of course, we have cooked through all of Leon's bullets. That... That's a problem. Okay. Do we need to go out here? I don't remember. There might be, like, a crank or something. Which we do need. Yeah, I think... I think the B scenario gets the crank out here. Of course, I could be very wrong, and I'm just wasting everyone's time. Hmm, nothing in there other than stuff. And, yeah, alright. This was absolutely a waste of everyone's time. Cool. Glad we went on that journey together. Fuck, 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 fuck. I guess I got a red herb out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there wasn't Jack over there, except for an item box, which I guess is Leon's only item box around here in the basement. And if you remember, Claire couldn't go much further here because the the truck was blocking the way. But Leon has a friend. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? <laughs> Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? Looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Oh, sure. You remember to pop the clutch, right? That way it can roll? Wait, pop the clutch or is it the brake? Fuck, I don't drive. Don't, don't look at me like that. Get out of the comment section. Wait, what? The handbrake is loose, but I can't move it alone. Well, let's, let's go at it together. What works? Teamwork. All right, I'll be here all week. Oh boy. Oh, and now we have a friend. Ada will help us. Uh, she has a decent pistol. I guess it's the same kind of pistol that Claire has. Um. Ada, wait! I take it back. Ada's ditching us. She's like, I'm looking for Ben. Peace out, y'all. I'm not gonna go in there. It's full of dogs. Dogs are gross. In this game, they're gross. <sighs> do we want to... Do we want to? Let, let's pick it up on the way back if it turns out we can. We might not want to. Oh, blue herb. Don't mind if I do. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and combine it here and assume that I'm never going to need to use it. Except for, of course, in the, the final boss fight where it doesn't poison you. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! Jeez, Leon. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? 
I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Looks like we know where we need to be.